Welcome to my channel. So the first thing first is for you to reduce the opacity of the image so you can see clearly. Then go to the draw layer you're going to be working on. So on the left hand side, choose the second brush and turn on velocity dynamic and make sure the color is black. Then reduce the brush size to whatever size you're comfortable with and trace out the eyes as seen appropriately. The shape of the eye should be traced exactly as seen in the picture because any alteration is going to cause a default in the drawing. The other features which um, like hairs and clothing can be altered but appropriate features and specific features to a human being ought to be traced exactly as seen. So what I'm doing now is for easier um, tracing out, I just took out the um, tools which is the um, circle tools to trace out the eyeball that way I don't have to mess up mess around trying to get a perfect circle for the eyes for the eyelashes make a long stroke upward first that is going to be the prominent eyelashes then later reduce the size of the brush and make a shorter stroke between the long lashes you've done To make a shadow of the eyelashes, reduce the opacity of the brush and um, imitate exactly as how the um, eyelash is being grown out. This way it's going to give it the illusion that light is reflecting on the eyeballs. So now reduce the opacity further and the brush size further and trace out the lower lashes because these are tiny hairs which is not always visible but it's very important. Don't forget to add the eye creases. This way just reduce the opacity to a minimum so it's not visible. Add a new layer um, above the sketch for the eye. This layer is going to be used for the eyebrow and make sure you reduce the opacity of the brush and increase the size depending on, on how you want the eyebrow to be fuller or lighter eyebrows. Anyone depending on your preference. Add a new layer above and use the first brush to pick out colors and this way you're going to create a palette for the color so you don't have to always go back to the image to pick out color. So the first thing I'm doing is to pick out the skin base color. The skin base is the color which tells the skin tone of the person. So I'm picking out the color which I feel is comfortable for the skin base and I'm going to create a palette around um, my drawings and I'm doing this on a new layer not on the layer I've done sketch on so pick out appropriate colors for the skin pick out the shade and also pick out the highlights for the skin then once you're done with that you also pick out colors from the eyeballs so that way you don't have to always go back like I said so I'm picking out the white part of the eyes as you can see it's not fully white then I'm picking out the color of the eyeballs and I'm going to also pick out the color around the corners of the eyes so now I'm adding a new layer below every of the sketch I've done and I'm going to add the base color so this gives going this is going to give me the perspective to know exactly what I'm doing so I'm pick, I've picked up the skin base color and I'm using the circle tools to add the base color of the skin this is just an illustration to show exactly what I'm doing then the next thing I'm doing is to add a new layer below the sketch layer. I'm going to use this to 
paint in the whiter part of the eyes normally what I do before is I duplicate the sketch layer and just fill in the color but for better explanation and for you to understand how layers work I'm pick, picking it in a different direction so I've added the uh, color for the the whiter part and I'm also going to shade in some um, realistic eye features so I'm using the color I picked for the corner of the eyes and I'm doing this on a new layer which I added above the whiter part of the eyes I'm using the first brush for it because that way I can blend easily and I've reduced the opacity so I'm shading in lightly to the corners of the eyes so it doesn't seem like a flat white color so I'm um, adding that part so it feels like a blood shuttered eyes do this gently and once you feel that you've done too much and the eyes is looking super red or not exactly as what how you want today you can always um, reduce the opacity then increase the opacity of the brush and make sure the corners of the eyes are well shaded in then at the same time you also darken the color so as to paint the corners the corners of the eyes I'm sorry so this way it gives it a very depth of field effect that that part is sunken in increase the color again to a brighter color so you can add some light onto the eyes the corners of the eyes just that part alone Once you're okay with how the coloring turns out, what you just do is to match down the color to the whiter part layer you've done so as to have a single color. Then add in a new layer above that whiter part and make sure it's below your sketch layer. So I'm going to pick out the um, color which I'm going to use for the eyeball and I'm going to paint it in. Remember, I'm doing this on a new layer because in case you make any mistake, you can easily clean it out and not mess up everything you've done. Add a new layer above the base of the eyeball color layer you've, you've picked out. Use this first brush because this is what we're going to be using for a blending. Reduce the um, color of the color of the eyeball. Make sure it's a darker shade because this way we want to add in some blended color into it and paint it exactly as I'm doing it because this way they're giving us an illusion that the eyes has um, different color into it. They have different sides of making the eyeball. I'm going to link down um, the link to the tutorial of how you can make different eyeball colors and how you can design the eyeballs in different ways. So this is just one part of how to make an eyeball. So if you're comfortable, you're okay with using just this part alone, you can watch how I'm doing it. And if you also want to learn how to make it in different style, I'm going to link down the link to the video where you can paint the eyeballs in different colors. So continue watching closely to exactly as I'm making the eyes and if you don't understand anything I've done you can always go back to watching the video or you can also check out my video on eyeballs tutorial and for those of you who find it very difficult to make it for yourself you can always message me on Instagram at canyons underscore acts I'm going to also link a my um, Instagram page to the description or you can follow it as, as seen in this um, in the video Kanyos underscore art for you to message me if you want to make cartoons of yourself and you find this very difficult to make I'm adding a white pack into the eyes because this shows that the eyes is glossy and it um, reflects to light so this way it doesn't seem like a, a flat um, color painting so I'm adding that part so it feels like um, a bounce of light is hitting the, um, the eyes So 
the final thing you want to do is to add a shadow to the eyes so to make sure it doesn't seem like the eyes is popping out but to show that the eyes is sunken in so just add a shadow to it i'm doing this um to show how sunken in the eyes is but you can always use the perspective of the image you're working with and reduce the opacity or increase the opacity depending on how you want the light shadow to be thanks for watching my video and i'm sure you enjoy watching it and you understood what i've um demonstrated in the video do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell notification on thanks for watching